Yo, what is up? So, the launch has come here the moment we've all been waiting for, right? And we've got the hero promotion, the thing that I've been waiting for. It says it's in three days, 22 hours, but you know, we'll probably get it done pretty quickly because we've been waiting. So the rewards aren't the craziest. I don't think that I should have waited for as long as I did. I mentioned this in the last video, but it's just, we definitely overweighted. You know, because like these are these are good rewards. I shouldn't say that they're not as good, but for how long we waited on content, I don't think we should do it going forward. However, with us waiting, we have 49 three star, 23 four and two five stars. And we have some uh, foodies leveled up as well. We got three at level 50 and then we've got um, another that's ready to go up again two more to go to four so we've got quite a bit of resources so i'm gonna kind of take a moment here i'm gonna decide where i want to go with them i'm thinking it zatluck should be my first so far kane he doesn't do damage but what i know is that he survives so he if he's the last one alive right he's gonna be the one that makes it through the match or through the levels stages whatever slowly I don't think getting him to level 60 is really going to help his DPS, but you know, he is probably who I should max before Myla still. As much as I love Myla, it's just, I'm not quite sure I'm completely sold on her kit for longevity. So I'm thinking Zatlux, I'm thinking Azarina. We get them up to 60 and then we kind of see where we go from there because maybe Zachary is an option. Or we could go down here and we can check out like some of the other options like Hassle, etc. Uh, so with the uh, launch, actually, we were given the um, Nathalia extra. So we don't even need to use one of the scrolls, which I thought we would have to use one of our scrolls to get her up to the ascension that we needed. But, you know, we don't. We were given uh, three summoning stones for the Discord challenge, which is pretty awesome. Arena season rewards, yeah, whatever. And we yesterday, I think it was, we were given 1,000 diamonds. So we're up to pretty much 9k. I already bought out what was in the diamond shop, which was the three uh, weekly advanced summoning crystals that are 50 gems discount and our meal coupon. So we were above 9k, but now we're just shy of it. But yeah, you know, it's not that big of a deal. It really isn't. We're going to probably have 10k plus shortly anyways. But yeah, so future me will continue as to what I decided to level up my characters with and where I really sunk the resources in. Going into um, ranking everybody up, we are going to have 6.7 million jelly ready. So anyways, future me take over. Yo, what is up, me from 15 minutes ago? Dang, you've really grown up. Anyways, we definitely got through the event just like I thought we would it's super easily. We have a bunch of resources to spare still, too. So, quickly, on how much jelly we still... Oh, let me turn that down a little bit. On how much jelly we still have. Like, we're still chilling at 4.7 mil, so we used, like, 2 mil or so? Not much at all. I was expecting to be down to 2 mil or so left. But nonetheless, we chose to go with Azrena and Zatlux. I'm keeping Kane at 50. I'm keeping Milo at 50 because Kane doesn't seem like for the content yet that I need to upgrade him. However, now that we have a little bit more variety in our, um, you know, our choices, maybe we'll upgrade him off event of a hero promotion. But eh, for now, he's fine at 50. Same with um. My love, they get the job done at their level. What I really needed was I needed somebody to help me out with clearing waves with Zatlux is going to do wonderfully. And to go against uh, Water Element. And then we needed Azrina because fire. Fire is hot, right? And also we needed something against um, Earth, Leaf, whatever you want to call it, right? But <clears throat> we still got to figure out stats-wise for everyone, right? 
So Nathalia, we do have her crit rate. Uh, what is it? 91, 81%. We could get that up. We gotta get it up to 100% at some point. But right now, gear is something that I've been kind of slacking on. Zatlux, how do I have him? Yeah, okay, that's embarrassing. I don't know why I'm even showing him, but 39%, 49%. I can't do math. It is at, it's 2.30 a.m. Don't judge me. But this is what we're looking at right now after promoting everybody. And it's not the greatest. We're definitely still behind. But at the same time, I'm pretty content. Because otherwise, we have Zachary to work on. Eventually, we'll work on Ciara because she's a legendary. The thing is, because I have Idrissia already, and because I already have so much water, I, I don't feel like it's totally worth getting her. Now, I might be completely off on that. Maybe she's like this hidden OP character that's ridiculous. Because I think she's poison, right? If I remember right, it's all poison stuff. Um... I'm a complete disgusting liar. Okay, so she's not poison. Never mind, that's somebody else. But nonetheless, it's just, she's not... Hmm. Maybe she is good, actually. She actually does seem pretty good reading these abilities. Maybe I'm just a full through discussion. Well, whatever, all right? So she's, we're, we're chilling on her still. We got, what is it, Irindil? Yeah, Irindil, Hassel. Hassel is the one that, um, oh, this is the poison one, by the way, real quick, Santos. That I was thinking of. But Hassel, um, he's kind of who I'm looking at getting to level 50 or level 60. Because our team doesn't quite have, uh, like a dedicated healer per se. And this guy has heal, he has defenses that he gives everybody. He has, um, eight knights, which helps with Azrina. And he's got, yeah, defense, crit rate down, which is definitely helpful. And it scales with his max health. So I think from looking at his kit, he's probably solid at level 50. But level 60 is going to boost up his damage even more with the max health increase, right? And getting two fire with um, Ezrina and him and then being able to like go with a neutral like Zatlux and then maybe Kane or something will be really good against um, the earth grass type whatever, you know? So like, Hassel is kind of who I'm looking at. The other option that I was thinking of was... Potentially Mary, because she's um, light, but she is only elite, so Jacob is an option. I don't think elites are necessarily going to be as bad as I make them out to be, but just because we have the epics, it feels weird to upgrade elites over the epics. Because in this game, it does not seem like it is incredibly hard or difficult to rank up um, legendaries to epics to um elites like yeah there are, are some more resources that you have to put into them but at the same time those resources are very easy to get depending on the day because uh, it goes from dungeons what is it, no man's land yeah no man's land so they change up every few days you have to make sure you have a right day for their abilities but otherwise that's pretty much it the one thing that you do need to worry about with it is that legendaries are going to be harder when it comes to ascending them. So for example, as Hydrissia, I don't have her ascended and I don't have any scrolls to ascend either. And getting an identical version of her to ascend isn't probably going to happen anytime soon. And base attack 15% up for the first ascension, so one dupe of her, that's not super exciting. Ascension 2 is where people start getting actually... A decent buff, I guess. So with her, her attacks are going to have a 50% chance to grab bonus attack that deals 80% to all enemies. Which right now, it's uh, 50%. Yeah, I didn't want to say something wrong, but 50% to 80%, that's actually pretty big, right? But getting two of her once again, that's going to be kind of tough. Now, to get dupes, you obviously have to summon. I don't know how the legendary scrolls work yet. I have not seen them at any events, unless I've just overlooked them. But we are at 76 advanced summons. I don't need to work. I don't need to spend the summons, right? Because I'm not in a rush. There's no reason to push the summoning right now. 
when we're probably going to have an event in the next few days. And I know I'm I'm really biting the bullet on the last event that I waited on with the hero promotion and just kept on waiting and waiting to stump my account. However, this is something totally different. We have a lot of heroes that we want to invest in. And even if we pull someone else, they're probably not going to want to be used immediately. However, so if we go to summon details, we are after 70 consecutive summons, the drop rate for legendary heroes are increased by 0 0.5 for every extra summon, right? And then after 90 summons, the rate increases by 1%, and then 100, you get the guaranteed legend. Being at 76, even if we didn't have any built up, which I'm sure we have some because of the daily free summon, and I probably spent one or two that I just don't quite remember off the top of my head, right? I think 76 is going to guarantee us one or maybe two legendaries. The summon event, if I remember correctly, it was like 50 advanced summons or something to max it out, maybe even less. But normal summons also can help you fill in that gap a little bit of how much you need. And we're up to almost 1700 um, regular summons, right? One thing is that... Uh, since we're not going to be summoning, we're going to be kind of looking at our roster for now as to what we actually are working on, right? And it, it really is just now... Who do we work on next? We haven't even put gear on Zarina Regard to 60. She has no gear yet. And I don't, I was looking at recommended sets and the recommended sets in these games tend to be a little, not the greatest, right? They'll say, oh, this is a, for example, this Ezrina is an offense type. So they're just gonna slap it on you that, yeah, you should have warrior set, which is 15% attack. Maybe that is right. Maybe it's as simple as that, but I don't know if that's really the way it should go. So we've got 50 players, 40, 201 for No Man's Land ratings. Like, we've got quite a bit of players not rating, but another thing is, in these games, the in-game ratings don't necessarily paint the correct picture as to how good or how valuable a character is. And granted, you probably are right, the 29 players that gave a rating to the water type, that isn't, she's not probably the best at being a fire type, that, you know, you probably shouldn't bring her in against the water versions of bosses. But for sets, I was thinking, I need to fully get, I don't fully understand the speed system yet and how it works, because I was told you can't have double two times attacks to one person's attack, and I don't know if that means just you can't take two turns in general before the other person attacks, or the character itself, like Ezrina, can't go twice before the other four go. But either way, speed probably does matter still. And if we go to, what is it, Raptor and Everset? So, uh, Raptor Bow 20% focus, that's probably pretty necessary since... Uh, if we go to one of these more, focus is going to apply effects. So that's going to help out our ignite. So that one definitely could be useful. We probably want to get her crit strike to above 75%. I know you should probably get everybody's crit rate to 100% so that you guarantee crit rate every hit. But... Something I notice is when I focus too much on crit rate and I push it to 100%, sometimes I'm lacking in the crit damage department, I'm lacking in other things like focus in this scenario, or maybe even agility is important since it deflects attacks and it reduces damage. There's basically damage reduction built into your kit, right? Uh, these other stats tend to suffer because I over-focus on the crit rate. She does start with 8%, which is good. She's an A tier of crit rate. Not bad. And, you know, we're, we'll are we see how it really plays out, but I'm really going to focus on getting her to above 50% minimum crit rate before uh, putting her into content heavily. I'm sure with the gear, once we equip it, it'll be fine. Maybe I'll even... I'll probably pop back in in another 30 minutes or so when... I actually have her geared up a little bit from what I had in the stash to show where the stats are going forward. But for right now, yeah, we're just going to focus on getting to above 50% threshold of crit rate and then get the other stats up too. 
My gear collection is not the best, so it's, we're going to have to do with what we got. Either way, Arena just reset. I only did a couple of matches against level 10s, and you know what? They, Super Maga and Nightmare Taylor up here, they didn't even stand a chance. You should have seen how quickly they died, because they lost just to my ability of the fire spell. Pathetic. Imagine being level 10 defense. Pathetic, I tell you. But... Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I don't want to brag or anything, but I did take out two people with just an ability, one ability. So that's pretty, you know, I'm pretty, pretty much just rising in the ranks there, if you think about it. Magic Pass reset, which I, let me know how you feel about it. But the Magic Passes seem to go by really quickly. I'm not buying the passes or anything, but I am not maxing out the passes. And. Don't get me wrong, I am and have been playing very casually. Going forward, now that the game's fully released, going to be investing a lot more time into the passes. Not necessarily the passes, but the game in general. We'll actually start using our um, 183 mule coupons in resetting with the uh, gems, diamonds, whatever. But a casual player... I don't feel like is going to have an easy time getting through the pass. It requires quite a bit of investment of time. And don't get me wrong, the pass is, what, well, yeah, 10 bucks, And that's not a bad offer. But it is kind of... Hmm, I don't want to say risky, but at the same time... A little piece of advice I would give anybody that's just starting the game wait don't just buy the pass at level one like yeah okay if you're just trying to throw some money at the game because you want to get them quickly yeah go ahead you can get the extra rewards it can push your account up sure but i would wait at least until level 30 in the pass and knowing how much time you have left in the pass before it resets because you have 30 days to do this but what if you only get one level per day then you're paying 10 bucks and let's say you get to only 29 that's that's such a cock block right so i personally if i were to invest in it wouldn't even be buying it unless i was up to like 44 and i had like five or six days left because it's just i i don't think i've even been getting past like 32 33 and if you buy the pass right off the bat and it's like level one you bought it you're excited for the game you're enjoying it but then you miss like a few days logging in Maybe you had to disappear for a week, seven days total of the month. You might be completely screwed out of getting the max rewards. And then you have to look at it. Was that worth your money? And I mean, what you get out of the past? Yeah, sure. It probably is worth the 10 bucks, but it's probably minimal the 10 bucks worth, you know? So just be careful when you're looking at the past because the past is usually something good for games. And I don't think it's bad by any means, but it does require a grind. I have not focused on doing the quests of pass, but at the same time, the quests, I mean, we got three there. This is going to be a decent 800, 800, 800, 800. It only gives you like, what, six, seven levels or something total. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. But yeah, just be careful with the magic pass, my dude. You never know until you do actually invest. And then, in, yeah, it's it just, I'm not sure. Maybe now that I'm going to fully invest in the game going forward, I can say, oh yeah, Magic Pass is going to be worth it or Magic Pass might not be worth it. But at the moment, I'm thinking, wait until you're a higher level in the past to buy it because, okay, I'm so, I've been on a rant with this one, but maybe you might want to do the 20 bucks if you're close to the end of the month, you're not able to get it, but you're at 30. That might just be a better option. Anyways, so I might be back with a quick gear update, but that might also go into the next video because now that we have some 60s that are more spread out, we might try to do some gear runs for that and then I'll update in the next video. But either way, if this is the final like little part of it, I hope you have a wonderful day and that the holidays treated you well, that 2022 is starting out really strong for you and you know, Enjoy the release of Awakened Chaos Era, because it's a great game, and I'm having a blast with it.
Take care, guys.